Hi everyone, today in this video we will be covering the combinational circuits. As we have said in the previous lectures like uh, uh, we have completed the half adder and full adder. In this video we will be covering the half subtractor and full subtractor. So first of all let us see what exactly a half adder is. As we have said that in the designing procedure. So based on the specifications we will be covering the inputs and outputs will be determining first the inputs and outputs that is your step one thereafter we'll be going for a truth table third one is drawing the block diagram fourth one is going to uh, write the key maps and fifth one is like drawing the logic circuit so first of all uh, we'll define what exactly a half adder is now the half adder is a combinational circuit with two inputs two inputs and two outputs that is the difference and borrow the two outputs and uh, it produces the difference between the two binding uh, bits at the input uh, and also produces the output borrow and uh, to indicate if one has been borrowed and if the subtraction a minus b and a is called as a minuend and b is called as the subtrahend bit so what we are doing here is we are in simple a half adder we are going to find out the difference of two bits so as we have specified in our previous lecture like the designing procedure the first step is to identify the number of inputs and outputs so here the inputs inputs we have two inputs that is one we are taking it as a the other we are taking it as b and the outputs whatever we are going to get here is two outputs that is one is the difference difference the second one is the borrow so with this now a half order is having two inputs and uh, two outputs that is difference in borrow now as the first step is completed now let us proceed to the second step that is nothing but deriving the truth table for the outputs and uh, based on the inputs now as we have defined the two inputs so the two combinations what we have is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now when I take the difference of two numbers the two outputs what I am going to get is one is the difference the other is a borrow so 0 minus 0 the difference is 0 and borrow is 0 0 minus 1 the difference is 1 and a borrow is also a 1 now 1 minus 0 the difference is 1 and borrow is 0 and 1 minus 1 the difference is 0 and borrow is also 0 once we have uh, derived our truth table now third step is to draw the block diagram so now we'll see how the block diagram of your half address so it is having two inputs a and b and it is having two outputs one is the difference the other is your borrow this is your half subtractor now as we have completed our third step now fourth step what we have here is we need to simplify the outputs using your k maps so we will be writing our equations here that is first the difference equation difference equation what we have here is so here the one means that is a bar b and here one means a b bar which is equals to your a exclusive b and your borrow borrow is equals to simply a bar b so this a bar b plus a b bar if you draw the k map for this one now that is a bar b means a bar b means 0 1 here and a b bar means 1 here so these two are not able to we are not able to group them so the final equation is not going to change so difference is the same as your a bar b plus a b bar which is equals to your 
a exclusive b so i can use an xor gate here and for borrow simply there is no simplification as it is considering it is having only a single term now step 5 is to draw the circuit so now i am drawing the circuit for difference i am taking one xor gate a and b now here is your difference which is equals to your a exclusive b and for your borrow i need to take the complement of a so simply what i do is i'll be taking the complement and let b as it is so if i give here i'll be getting your borrow as my output which is equals to your a bar b not only this way we can also simplify this one like instead of using a not gate here simply i can draw a b and here if i take an and gate simply i can mention with a bubble which is nothing but equivalence to your not gate so this also represents your half subtractor so other method what we have here is to draw this one as we have shown in your half order that is taking a and b two inputs and drawing the complements for the two inputs a and b now as i said if i connect my a with a b using an xor gate that will give you a difference which is equals to a exclusive b and simply taking a bar and b to a and gate that will give your borrow which is equals to your a bar b so here the three circuits represents the same so i can draw in any fashion to get a complete half subtractor now let us see what exactly a full adder uh, full subtractor is now if you see here a full subtractor so they have defined the full subtractor is a combinational circuit with three inputs a b c and two outputs uh, d and uh, c bar they have given actually the d and e let us take difference and a borrow a a is a minor union b is the subtrahend and c is your um, c is not the borrow which is produced and by previous stage and d is the difference of the output c dash in the uh, borrow output so instead of uh, getting confused like that let us see now we are defining the inputs which are nothing but your a b and c are my inputs and outputs whatever i have is the difference and one is the borrow now based on this one if i do the uh, derive the truth table now what i have here is 0 minus 0 is a 0 and the resultant 0 minus 0 is always 0 and borrow is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 1 is a 1 and borrow is 1 0 minus 1 is 1 here and borrow is 1 that 1 minus 0 is 1 again here a borrow is 1 so 0 minus 1 is a 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and you have a borrow 1 now 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 0 is 1 borrow is 0 next 1 minus 0 is a 1 and 1 minus 1 is a 0 and uh, there is no borrow 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and uh, there is no borrow next one is 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 1 is 1 and borrow is 1 so i have total four terms which are there in your difference and four terms which are there in your borrow so what i do here is simply i'll be uh, drawing the block diagram as i have said in uh, previous case block diagram of your full subtractor a b and c are my inputs this is your full subtractor so i have two outputs one is your difference the other is your borrow all right now let us simplify the given expressions 
that is now my difference is given as a bar b bar c next one what we have here is a bar b c bar next one what i have is a b bar c bar and the fourth term what we have here is a b c and you are borrow what i have here is a bar b bar c plus a bar b c bar plus a bar b c plus plus last term that is a b c now i need to simplify this to uh, a given functions so what i am doing here is i am going to simplify the given terms so my simplification of the output using your k map so i am taking a three variable k map here a b c now let us see what are the terms i have 0 0 that is 0 0 1 0 0 1 i have a term here and i have one more term 0 1 0 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 1 0 0 here and 1 1 1 so all the four terms are individual terms so it cannot be simplified and moreover the difference whatever i have written earlier that is a bar b bar c plus a bar b c bar plus a b bar c bar plus a b c which is nothing but your a exclusive b exclusive c so i can use an xor gate if you simplify or if you expand a exclusive b exclusive c you will be getting the above four terms now coming to your borrow so borrow can be uh, simplified here now what is the borrow we are having here i am using a k map three variable k map a b c so what are the terms i am having here is a bar b bar c so 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 that is 0 0 1 means here one next one is 0 1 0 0 1 0 here next is 0 1 1 0 1 1 next one is here i have so i can group these two i can write the result as a bar next one is c and here if i group these two what i am going to get here is a bar b and if i group these three two i am going to get the result and that is nothing but your um, bc so my difference difference whatever i have that i can write it as a bar c plus a bar b plus bc so this is your difference whatever you are having sorry borrow we are having so now this if i want to implement using your um, uh, logic circuit or the logic gates so as in my previous case how we have did the same way we are going to uh, proceed that is like taking a b and c both in the complemented and uncomplemented format now let us see that is difference is given by xor gate so a b and c this is your difference which is equals to a exclusive b exclusive c and coming to your uh, borrow what we have here in your borrow is that is a bar c a bar c so 
a bar c i'm using one and and gate and next one is a bar b a bar b and third one is bc b c so if i sum them using your or gate so now i'm giving the input the or gate what are the outputs i got now the borrow is equals to your a bar c plus a bar b plus b c so this is how we are going to implement the circuit using uh, sorry full uh, full subtractor using the logic uh, logic gates so thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to my channel